Hello friends, welcome to the Heart to Other channel. Today, I am telling a story about zoo animals. In the whispering woods of Wild Haven Zoo, where sunlight drips like honey through rustling leaves, lived Penelope the pangolin, her scales, the color of mossy stones. Gleamed as she shuffled through the undergrowth, nose twitching, listening to the secrets carried. On the wind, one morning, a frantic chirping shattered the forest hush. It was Pip, the scarlet macaw, his crimson feathers ruffled with alarm. Penelope, Penelope. He squawked, landing on her back. Trouble in the meadowlands. The babbling brook has vanished. Penelope's heart thumped. The babbling brook. A lifeline for the Meadowlands rabbits and frolicking foxes had mysteriously disappeared. Without it, chaos would soon bloom. Lead the way, Pip, she declared, her voice a low rumble. Together, they navigated the whispering woods. Penelope's keen sense of smell guiding them. They dodged the grumpy gore guarding the whispering glade and tiptoed past the sunbathing Komodo dragon. Queen Komodora, as she preened her shimmering scales. Finally, they reached the meadowlands. A parched wasteland stretched before them, the brookbed a dry scar in the earth. The rabbits huddled in fear, their noses twitching for a phantom scent of water. Penelope, ever the problem solver, sniffed the cracked earth. A faint metallic tang tickled her nose. Something's blocking the spring, she declared, her voice firm. With Pip perched on her head, she burrowed into the dusty earth. Claws scraping against hidden stones, the tunnel deepened. The air heavy and damp, finally, they emerged into a cavernous space. There, amidst glistening stalactites, stood a hulking metal contraption, spewing dust and blocking the flow of water. It was an old mining drill, forgotten and long rusted. Pip squawked in alarm. Someone must have forgotten to seal it. Penelope knew they had to act fast. They scurried back to the Meadowlands, gathering the strongest rabbits and foxes, working together. They climbed the drill, using their tiny paws and teeth to loosen rusted bolts. Inch by agonizing inch, the drill shifted, finally dislodging from the spring. Water surged forth, a sparkling cascade filling the cavern. Cheers erupted from the animals, the Meadowlands echoing with joyful barks and thumps. Queen Commodora, witnessing the scene from afar, even cracked a rare smile. Penelope, with Pip perched triumphantly on her head, simply smiled in the vibrant tapestry of Wild Haven Zoo, every creature. From the smallest pangolin to the fiercest Komodo dragon, held their own crucial strength, and together they had woven a tale of resilience, collaboration, and the unwaver in. News of Penelope's heroism spread through the zoo carried on the whispers of the wind and the chirps of grateful birds from that day on. She was known not just as Penelope the pangolin, but as Penelope the whisperer, the protector of Wild Haven's hidden secrets and the champion of its creatures. Grr. And so, Wild Haven Zoo became not just a place of enclosures, but a whispering haven, where every rustle of leaves and chirping of birds held the promise of hidden wonders and the echo of Penelope's bravery, ensuring that the babbling brook and many other secrets would flow freely for generations' tea.